So we all remember that moment. That was the former FBI director last July. But could his firing breathe new life, perhaps, into that Clinton case that he was discussing there? A former FBI agent telling Fox News that the new leadership in the bureau could potentially do a review of that email investigation. Since many agents on that case felt that their findings were ignored or shut down by election year politics. Our next guest says in the end, the former FBI director did fall victim to the Clintons, writing in the Wall Street Journal that Comey has become, quote, the latest to disappear into the Clintons' personal Bermuda Triangle, as he puts it. Here with me now, Daniel Henninger, deputy editor of the Wall Street Journal editorial page. Dan, always good to see you. Welcome. Uh, so explain that theory for us. Well, look, um, the person who was uh, standing there talking, the FBI director, is not who should have been making that statement before the public. It should have been Attorney General Loretta Lynch. But Loretta Lynch couldn't do it because she went onto the tarmac and had this tete a tete with Bill Clinton. And what I mean by the Clinton's Bermuda Triangle is that so many people, either by choice or chance, who come into the Clinton orbit get swallowed up into this vortex of legal problems. So on the one hand, Loretta Lynch gets set aside, and then James Comey somehow makes the misjudgment that he's in charge of the, uh, of the, White, of the Justice Department, and he's supposed to be making these public announcements. And as Attorney, uh, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein made clear, that in his memo to Donald Trump, that is not the appropriate job of the director of the FBI. That is, should, should have been done by the Deputy Attorney General, Sally Yates. And so Jim Comey got sucked into this email server story and tried to investigate it. And because the Clintons have this method of stonewalling and denial and using legal deflection, he got pulled in deeper and deeper into the details of it. There was no end game to it. And Comey himself, I think, was brought down by the Clinton method. So with regard to this question of whether or not it could ever be revisited, I think a lot of people would like to see that whole chapter go away, and I'm sure Hillary Clinton would be in that category. But there was some interesting comparison here, because here's what James Comey said on July 7th with regard to how the FBI team who worked on this investigation felt about the final outcome, which was the judgment that there was no intent. And then you'll hear Deputy Director McCabe on that team and their real feelings about how things turned out just yesterday. Watch. And so an unauthorized server in the basement is not mishandling. Well, no, there is, there is evidence of mishandling here. The quest, this whole investigation at the end focused on is there sufficient evidence of intent. Whereas, there was this unanimous opinion within the FBI on your decision. Well, the whole FBI wasn't involved, but the team of agents, investigators, uh, analysts, technologists, yes. There were folks within our agency who... Uh, we're frustrated with the outcome of the Hillary Clinton uh, case, and, and some of those folks were very vocal about that, uh, those concerns. Okay. It is not the FBI director's job to make a judgment about what the FBI agents are investigating. The agents do the invest, whether it's this investigation or any other, present what they have, and it's the director's job to take it to the deputy attorney general or the designated prosecutors inside the Justice Department, and they make that determination. Jim Comey should not have been in front of that committee making, deciding for the agents what the quality was of their investigation. Someone else was supposed to do that, and that's why he's no longer director of the FBI. Is there any indication that you think that some of those people in the FBI who worked on the case who were unhappy, and we've heard from many of them in different channels, uh, might push to say that they want to reopen? Yeah, I think they might push with a new FBI director. And, of course, the FBI, you know, they do, they do things quietly, but they also have their way of revealing to the public, shall we say leaking, if they think they have information that needed to be pursued. So it's not beyond imagining that Hillary Clinton's email server story, which really did involve specific uh, federal laws that might or might not have been violated, unlike, say, the Trump collusion story, which so far has surfaced, the identification of no law that could have been violated. This one really was something that a prosecutor could look into. Dan Henninger, thank you. Always good to see you, Dan. Great to be with you, Martha.